Okay, good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Carney back with another episode of Remote Learning, and today's episode is going to be on division. Division is repeated subtraction. So all that that means is that if you have the big number, then you have another number that you want to divide it by, you're going to count how many times you would repeatedly subtract one number from another number. So let's say I had 20 divided by 5. Well, I could look at it and do a number of different ways to solve it, but one way that I could solve it is just by doing repeated subtraction. So 20 minus 5 equals 15 minus 5 equals 10 minus 5 equals 5 minus 5 equals 0. And then I would count how many times I subtracted 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So another thing about division is that it's the inverse operation of multiplication. So that means that, again, if you wanted to look at it, 20 divided by 5 and try and figure that out, what you could do is you could flip the operation around and turn it into a multiplication problem. 5 times something equals 20. Well, I could use my multiples of 5 skip counting to figure this out. I could say 5, 10, 15, 20, and I counted 5 four times, and that equals 20. So 20 divided by 5 equals 4. The next thing I wanted to tell you about are the different parts of division. Division problems have three main parts. So the big number that gets divided is called the dividend. This is typically, um, in fourth grade math, going to be the biggest number in a division problem. Again, it's the number that gets divided. The divisor is the amount of groups that you're going to break the dividend into. And then last is the quotient. The quotient is the amount of items that go into each group. So let's do this out as a model. I'm going to break 20 into five equal groups. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to count until I get to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So again, I put 20 total items into five equal groups, and each group has one, two, three, four items in there. This is an example of one number that is divisible by another number. So 20 is divisible by 5, but 20 is not divisible by 6. If I tried to put 20 into 6 equal groups, I would end up with a remainder. Let's take a look at that. A remainder is going to be the amount of items that are left over after dividing a number equally into, uh, into equal groups. So 20 divided by 6, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then nineteen, twenty, but I couldn't do that because I couldn't put it into the rest of the groups. So I have two items that can't be equally uh, distributed. So 20 divided by 6 is 3 with a remainder of 2. Next up, I want to look at doing division with big numbers. Let's say you had to divide 2,000. Let's say you had to divide 2,800 by 7. You wouldn't really want to put 2,800 items into seven groups, so we're going to look at a few different strategies that we have to answer this problem. One thing we could look at is 28 divided by 7. And 28 divided by 7 equals 4. So then we know that 2,800 divided by 7 is going to have an answer that is divisible. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take those zeros and add them in to our answer here. And the reason why is because zero divided by anything is just going to equal zero. You can't break zero up into any other equal groups because there's nothing there. So we're going to check and recognize if there are easily divisible items, uh, easily divisible numbers in our division problems before getting kind of stressed out by it. So the next thing I want to look at is the bring down method. And the bring down method is your more traditional method of doing division. So let's say I had 3,456 divided by, um, let's say, 5. The way that the bring down method works, or looks like, is this. I'm going to put my 5 right here, my 3,456 over here. And now 5 goes into 3 zero times. So I'm going to move over to 5 going into 34. And 5 goes into 34 6 times. 6 times 5 equals 30. And 34 minus 30 equals 4. Next, I'm going to bring down this 5 right here. And 5 goes into 45 9 times. And there are a few different ways that you can remember that. You could skip count by your 5s. Or you could think about other numbers that easily work with this. I thought about 5 going into 50. 5 goes into 50 10 times, so 5 goes into 45 9 times. 9 times 5 equals 45, and 45 minus 45 equals 0. Next up, I'm going to bring down this 6. 5 goes into 6 1 time. 1 times 5 equals 5, and my remainder is 1. So 3,456 divided by 5 equals 691, remainder 1. I'm going to do the same question, but I'm going to use my favorite way of doing division. And that way is called the bring up method. And I learned this from 
some I learned this from some friends a few years ago, and I really like doing math this way, just because I think it keeps all of my answers neat and tidy. So, same idea, but I'm going to make a box over here. And I have one, two, three, four digits that I'm going to be dividing. So I'm going to make four boxes. Two, three, four. Okay. And I'm going to put my five right here. And I'm going to put three, four, five, six. I'm going to make my box a little bit neater. And so, same idea as the pull down method or the bring down method, but just a little bit neater in my opinion. Five goes into three, zero times. Zero times five equals zero. And three minus zero equals three. Next, I'm going to bring up the three to the next box. Five goes into 34, six times. Six times five, equals 30. 34 minus 30 equals 4. Next, I'm going to bring that 4 up here. And 5 goes into 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 9 times. And 9 times 5 equals 45. 45 minus 45 equals 0. And next up, I'm going to bring this zero to this box right here. And five goes into six one time. One times five equals five. Six minus five equals one. Remainder one. 3,456 divided by five equals 691 with a remainder of one. Last, I'm going to look at sharing. And sharing is usable for, sharing uses models. And I'd say that you can do the sharing method for two digit, probably three digit numbers. But anything bigger than that is going to become a little bit uh, unwieldy. So I would only recommend it for smaller numbers as you're working on your numeracy with others, uh, with other practice. So let's say I wanted to do, 100, um, let's say I wanted to do 123 uh, by 5. So what I would do is I would draw these things out into their groups. I have 100 box two 10 boxes, and one, two, three um, ones. And so now I'm going to break these into one, two, three, four, five groups. Okay. So what you might see is I have 100 here, and that's going to be really hard to break into five equal groups. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my 100, And I'm going to turn it into 10 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And whenever I'm making groups, as much as I can help it, I do groups of five and then I move down to the next row. That way I keep everything in a good order. All right. So now I have five, 10, 11, 12 10 sticks that I'm going to break up into groups of five. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I can get rid of this row. One, two, three, four, five. I can get rid of this row. And I've run into the same problem here. I have two 10 sticks left, but I can't break those into equal groups easily. So I need to break these 10s into 
Um, I need to break these tens into ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So as you can see, I took my ten sticks and I converted them into twenty single dots. And I did it into groups of five. So one group of five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna get rid of that group. One group of five, one, two, three, four, five. Getting rid of that group. One, two, three, four, five. Getting rid of that group. And five more. Two, three, four, five. Getting rid of this group. And I have these three left over that I can't equally place into five groups. So 123 divided by 5 is 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, remainder 3. 123 divided by 5 equals 24 with a remainder of 3. And so that's it for division today. Thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you guys sometime soon. Bye.